Hello all, welcome to our Chalk Talk with Tony. I'm your host TM Zoids, also known as Tony. And this week we have LT Freckles, also known as Crystal. How are you doing, Crystal? I'm doing pretty good. Anything new, exciting? How's your weekend going? Weekend's uh, pretty lazy. Pretty lazy So nothing, nothing too new, just same old, same old. You're playing a lot of video games. Are you playing the new WoW? No. No? God. Nope. I have spent four years of my life with WoW. I am not going <laughs> further. <laughs> I'm good. Come on. You can never quit WoW. Let's be uh, honest. You just take breaks. No, it's, <laughs> I tried. I tried with the last expansion. It just didn't last that long. Oh, it's dying out. It's just, the, it's not the yeah. same. It's not the same. But before we talk about WoW, because I could talk about WoW forever, I've played WoW for a long time. I'm playing WoW again with Legion, so uh, mm -hmm. it always drags me back. But first things first, everybody wants to know, how did you get your name, LT Freckles? Is it like Little Freckle, I'm guessing? No, actually. No. Uh, LT for Lieutenant. And I, like a really long time ago, I was thinking about getting a name change because my original League name was Miss Crystal. Okay. And I thought it was pretty lame. <laughs> and uh, a few friends that I used to play with all the time, um, I guess one night I had talked about like having Freckles, and I think we were all drinking or whatever, and I was like, you know what, I should change my name to Freckles, but obviously Freckles is taken, so I needed something to go with it. And I was just trying to think of like all these like words to go with Freckles, and I just came up, like, I was like, oh, Lieutenant Freckles sounds kind of cute. So, yeah, that's that's how I got the name. <laughs> So you were never in the service? Like, you never, no. you never served? Okay. Just to clear that up. People are like, oh, so she was in the service. Then they start <laughs> asking all these questions I don't know how to answer. Yeah, nope. I just wanted something to sound good with freckles. Man, just lieutenant. Nice, Maybe nice. it had to do with playing team a lot. I don't know, Captain Team. <laughs> oh, God. Well, there, there's the haters there. The love-hate relationship for Teemo. Uh-huh. <laughs> So we got a Teemo main here, from what I can tell. <laughs> yeah, used to be. Used to be when I hit 30. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Except it wasn't when I was playing, like, normals. I was too scared to play normals when I hit 30, because everyone got really good. <laughs> Sucked. So I just played a lot of threes, hmm. and I, I really liked Teemo on that map, because it was a lot smaller, and you could get shrooms everywhere. It was yeah, nice. You could litter the... Map. Season four, I think, was when I hit three. Dang. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Not three, hit 30. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So, when did it all start? When did you first get into video games? Or when can you remember you got into video games? Um, I want to say Nintendo was the first time. Um, obviously the duck hunting game and a little bit of Mario. Um, mostly duck hunt though. Played a lot of that when I was a kid. And I had a Game Boy Color, so all the Pokemon games. I always, 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 always had my Game Boy on me. Like, that's all I did. Um, and one of my, my older stepbrother used to make fun of me too because that's like all I played, so he called me the Game Boy Geek. <laughs> always picked on me on that and then I got really really into the Nintendo 64 uh, of course the Pokemon games Pokemon Stadium uh, Hey You Pikachu uh, Pokemon Snap love those games <laughs> Econ Racing was one of my favorites too so but yeah where it all started was the Nintendo and I've had all the Sony like PS 1, 2, and 3 unfortunately not a 4 but that's because I play the PC now <laughs> yeah Soon, I, you, you'll break down. You'll be like, oh, I, I don't need this, but I'll get it. <laughs> get it. Uh -huh. But uh, starting with the Nintendo, I guess. So we're talking about Super Nintendo, because I don't think the Duck Hunt was on Nintendo 64, yeah. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing was on the 64. That's the one I played. So did you did you play with your family? Did your family play video games? Or was it just you, you by yourself? <sighs> Me and my younger sister would play. Um, we actually did have a Sega, too. I guess when her and I played a lot together, it was the Sega. <laughs> but uh, Nintendo 64 and the Super Nintendo was, uh, most of the time, it was by myself. By yourself. Interesting. It uh, usually, 
when I do these, it's somebody that their family used to play, so it's kind of weird, you know. Families uh, are 50-50, so. Yeah, well, I was first born. Okay. So, <laughs> that might okay. be why. Um, my, like, my dad didn't really play games, so. The question, I don't, go ahead. can't really say, like, what, I mean, I super did, I was I mean, years ago, so I don't know if I, I can't remember if I got that for, like, Christmas or something. I honestly don't remember. I just know that we had one. <laughs> That's okay. It's all good. Um, the question is, then, your parents support you playing video games, because uh, some people, parents are like, oh, you need to get off your video games, go outside. Mm, yeah, I was spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, um, they would let me just do whatever, do for whatever. the most part. Mm -hmm. My parents weren't very strict. Uh, my uncle and my grandma were the ones that got me into Town 64, so I play that a lot. My grandma probably not so much. I lived with her with a good portion of my life. Um, but I did have friends that like I would go outside and play with too, so I probably had a pretty good She's good like, I'm not a total there. nerd. I'm not a total <laughs> nerd, guys. Come on. Jeez. <laughs> no. I did have friends. Although no. we did play the Nintendo 64 together sometimes. <laughs> so your favorite game... Uh... I guess we can go to the Nintendo 64. Was Diddy Kong Racing then, from what it sounds um, like? Yeah, that and Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon I played Stadium. those a lot. I remember playing that game. That was a great game. You didn't get to do much. It was just kind of, you pick your Pokemon. It was kind of like a fighting game, but not really. Uh... Yeah, it was basically the the battling. And the mini games. They had the mini games on there. <laughs> I don't know if you remember those. Uh, Very rarely. <laughs> played a lot of mini games. Well... They just had like um, like there was like a sushi one where you're lick a Oh yeah, yeah, okay. You had to yeah. like pick up all the food like <laughs> off the spinning uh wheel, and yeah, like the points, certain yeah. foods you got got more points and stuff. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So you're a big Pokemon fan, I guess we Huge. can go go yep. down the uh, Game Boy uh, road really quickly, which I don't usually talk about. But handheld game, what color did you have? Uh, po um. The Game Boy color that I had was purple. Purple. And yeah. what game did you start with for Pokemon, I guess? I think red was the first one I had. Um, I had red and blue, but I think I started with red. I also had yellow. I had all three. Had all three, damn. Well, I didn't have all four. I didn't have green. I know I didn't have green. Now the tough question, what is your favorite Pokemon? Or wait, was there even a green or am I thinking leaf green? I think you're thinking leaf green. I'm thinking, thinking I'm thinking leaf green. So I did have all three. Oh man, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. What was the question? Uh, what is your favorite Pokemon? Oh uh, my. Okay, since I had like growing up, I had a love for horses, so Rapidash was my favorite. Really? That and I like I tend to always stray towards the or go towards the uh, fire types too. Okay. Yeah. Not Pikachu. Nope. No, not a big <laughs> Pikachu fan. <laughs> I, I like Pikachu. Pikachu's adorable, but uh, Rapidash was my favorite. So you started with Charmander then, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yep. But I usually stuck to, I don't know, like maybe it's like the... Just trying something different in each game, but like whatever version I was playing. Like red, obviously I chose Charmander, and blue I chose Squirtle. Very interesting. Obviously yellow, you have Pikachu. Yeah. <laughs> I think I chose just water type. I wasn't even like a big water type fan. I prefer Charmander, but I just chose. I didn't start till sur Silver, so I was like, Frogadder. That sounds really cool. So. Oh my god, I forgot about Gold and Silver. I definitely had those too. <laughs> <laughs> and Sun and Moon's coming out soon. I'm gonna be getting those as well. Getting those. So I guess we keep going down this road really quickly. Pokemon Go. Do you play? Yeah. Uh, I haven't been playing lately. I'm waiting for the new patch, basically, when they release the second version. Okay. Did you... Her generation. Do you like it so but, far? What are your thoughts about it? Uh, I played it heavily when it came out. I'm level 23 right now. Nice. So. Um, there was also, like, a pub crawl, Pokemon Go pub crawl I went to. That was really fun. There's a lot of people. A lot of people. I want to say close to... Six, I want to say 600 to about 1,000 people downtown. Yeah. And it, like oh, there was like uh, 12 bars included in it, and 
It was huge. It was ridiculous. <laughs> well, as long as you had fun, that's what matters. Uh -huh. When you're safe, that's also good. You know, not getting trampled or jumping off a bridge or whatever the case may be for a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, none of that. Oh man. But going back to the back to the console game, so you said you were a Sony fan. I'm guessing this is where you kind of transition because you had the Nintendo 64 come on a little bit later. I think PlayStation came before N64, if I want to say correctly. Maybe not. Maybe it came a little bit after. Can't remember the timeline. But you went with PlayStation over Xbox. That's the tough one. Yes. Oh. Um, that wasn't really a decision that I made. It was just something that I I did get that for Christmas. My okay. mom got it for me and my sister for Christmas. Um, we didn't have a whole lot of games for it uh, for the first one. Um, we played a lot of the. It came with like a demo disc. We played a lot of the demo disc, but some personal issues came up. I don't really want to discuss, but we didn't have it anymore. So we played it for a little while, but not a whole lot. So I didn't have a whole lot of games for that one. So you decided, okay, so later on you got the PlayStation 2 coming out. You got PlayStation mm -hmm. 2 or Xbox now. You stick with PlayStation, it sounds like. Yeah. So you're so. There, there were a lot of, like. There were quite a few games that I played on PlayStation, all the ones I can't really remember. I know, um, pretty sure for PlayStation they had Spyro, right? Yep, Spyro. So that was, it was, I'm trying to, there's so many games I played. Spyro, Spyro Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, Banjo-Kazooie. Final Fantasy. Did you play that? No. Did not, I actually didn't play Final Fantasy. Oh my I had a friend that played it, but I never have played any of the Final Fantasy games. I know, shame on me. <laughs> have you played Zelda? Um, I only played the one that was on the Nintendo 64. I didn't actually own that game. I oh, played it with a friend. Well, there you go. At least you played it. At least you can say I you played it. played it a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Ocarina of Time. I even remember which one it was. <laughs> so you're not an Xbox fan at all? You, you're like, screw Microsoft? You don't know what you're doing? Um, I, I played... I did play Halo. Um... That was pretty fun. I played it for a little while. I mean, obviously it wasn't my it wasn't my Xbox, but I played it. I did enjoy that game. So you That was about all I played. <laughs> have you thought about getting a PlayStation 4 just to stream because now it's easier to stream. You can uh, connect right off your PS4. You don't have to have a bunch of other extra tools. No. I if I were the thing is, is if I were to ever get a PS4, it would have been for the Kingdom Hearts 3 release. But I hear it's going to be on PC, so there really isn't a point. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I don't know, I, I prefer the PC now, so there's just no... If Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out on PC, then I don't need PS4. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a true P PC gamer now. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. pretty much. So when did you get your first computer, like your first, I guess, gaming computer? We will not talk to like... <sighs> the first actual gaming computer is the computer that I have now. Okay. Um, when I first started playing PC games was World of Warcraft, and that was off a laptop. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. So I had gotten a laptop for school, and that's when I started WoW. And um, actually, the whole time that I played World of Warcraft was pretty much on a laptop. And then I think it was, it was definitely after Mist of Pandaria but it was before the second to last expansion. I can't even remember the name of it. Uh, Warlords of Draenor. Yes. Yeah. Before that one came out, I did get a desktop. That was because it was there was like one on sale and I decided, well, I'm going to get a desktop because there, you know, since I play World of Warcraft, I might as well. Mm -hmm. And so that was about three, uh, three and a half, four years ago that I got my first like desktop. And it's still running strong. It looks like everything's mm -hmm. working smoothly. So that's plus. Usually my PC goes down every like year, or if I just make it go down. I'm like, I need to do things. I'm gonna put something in. <laughs> <laughs> well, the well the first well that PC isn't the one I have now. Of course, after I started streaming, um, I needed a better PC mm -hmm. to support it. So I that was like my first stream goal was to to get a better PC to help with my stream. So nice. I do have it. This the one I have now is about a year and a half old. Nice, nice. All right, so let's get into World of Warcraft. I can talk about this game for a long time. <laughs> I 
so many memories. I went back to it as uh, we were talking before we even started the recording. But uh, so you're ju- first off, props to you for playing on a laptop. Like I, <laughs> Jesus, Trimony, I can't believe it. But my, yeah, my first laptop, my WASD is definitely like the keys were so faded. <laughs> Because <laughs> I played it so much. Oh my god. I, there, were, there were quite a few keys that were faded on that laptop. It, it made it through a lot, surprisingly. <laughs> that's all that matters. As long, as long as you got to play, that's what counts. Mm-hmm. But, I guess the first question, Horde or Alliance? I was Alliance. Alliance, oh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I loved the Draenei. Okay. Like, I just loved the way that they looked. So, I just kind of... St- stuck with Alliance. I did make a few Horde characters just to try it, but I just like the Draenei too much. <laughs> Very interesting. My friend calls them the Space Goats. Because they yeah. kind of like... <laughs> so you're a Draenei. Uh, what uh, cla- class? Yeah, class did you play? Well, the first class, the very, very, very first class I tried was Druid. That didn't go very well. That was a very, <laughs> like, when I started playing, very complex class. Yeah. <laughs> so... Started all over and went with the easiest class, and that was Hunter. And I got the Hunter, oh, I want to say like up to level 40, and then that's when I decided to try a new one. And then my main became a priest. Nice. So, um, so my, I guess if I were to get back on to WoW, the, I, my priest is the highest. It's a level 100. Wow, very nice. Yep. Very nice. Uh, I did enjoy the, um, shaman too for a while that was my second main i guess Um, i played a hunter so i was i was happy and then you're like i quit at 40 i was like no that means she's (laughs) squishy (laughs) no yeah well i remember when i did play the hunter this was uh when i started there i just remember this ability like well i remember first you had to buy all of your ammo Mm-hmm. <laughs> so glad I took that out. Uh, but you had to buy all your ammo, and I remember this ability where, like, it was an AOE attack where all these arrows just like rained down from. The... Oh, volley! It was volley. But um, I did make another hunter. It might have been the no, 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 no. I think it was yeah, because the first hunter I made was a night elf, but then I made a draenei hunter, and that one I did get to ninety. <laughs> but I didn't. I just didn't. I don't know enjoy it that much anymore so the tough question or the actual uh question we should ask is were you the stereotypical healer or did you uh play dps as a priest um well as as a priest i was a healer um as the shaman i was an elemental shaman so i would play dps and i would play heals but my main was heals nice very nice uh, so did you play, were you more pvp or did you PvE, did you raid? Higher level I'm more PvE, but like after you got the bound to account items, then I pl- played PvP because I mean, I face it, it was a fuck ton easier <laughs> at low level with your high gear, like you just stomp on kids, but there's just, I don't, I didn't really understand macros very well, nor did I like teach myself how to do it, so, and then like, understanding everyone and the timing and when to do things at higher levels when I would try to PvP, it just didn't work out. Especially since my main was a healer. Mm-hmm. Like, that's easy in PvP. Unless you have a rogue on you who is always stunning you and you can't do shit <laughs> and you just die and it's like, okay, well, there goes that. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so you would say your main focus, though, was PvE. You're higher tier. Yeah. So you raided. Did you like the raids? Yeah. I I did and I didn't. <laughs> it's very stressful to be a healer sometimes, you know, because there's people who just like don't listen and just die and it's like Let's stand in the purple shit. And you yeah, fight. don't don't stand in the fucking fire and you're standing <laughs> in the fire and I can't heal you fast enough and I'm trying to heal the tank who was also taking damage and you're just over here. And <laughs> um there but the thing I hated the most like the reason I don't get into it anymore is kind of the reason like like when I played it last time I didn't really enjoy it is I didn't really have a guild especially an organized one and so you, you know I'm getting into the PvE and the raids and it's the pugs and it's just like you have to wait forever to get a group and then you finally get a group and 
and you wipe, and yeah. you wipe, and you wipe, and it's like five hours gone, and you got <laughs> maybe two rep bosses down, and I didn't even get the item I needed, and it's like, okay. Uh, <laughs> Or you could always apply to a guild, like you had to put in your yeah. application and all that jazz. And... But I'm, I'm, shy. I'm like shy. Like I don't. I feel like people will reject me, so I didn't really apply. Oh, that's. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> and I... I didn't really. Yeah, I didn't really like getting into calls with like a bunch of random people I didn't know and. So I, I preferred to play with friends who could just teach me, and then all the friends kind of stopped playing, and so I just kind of just, just uh, trailed off. And that's that's kind of how that happened, I guess. Oh, you got a uh, you got your Twitch channel now. Bring them all on. <laughs> create your own guild. Be the leader and be like, we're gonna raid. I, we're gonna I, I tried bosses. that. I did. I tried that. The last <laughs> expansion. Oh man. Well, uh, we got a few back into it, which was fun for a while, but then they all quit again and. Just, yeah. Legion, they're throwing everything in the kitchen sink at you. Every lore is in there, weapons. If, if you're interested, I'm not trying to bring you back. I know it's a <laughs> it's a bad addiction to bring people back to, but uh, as I tell everybody all, all the time on these, and then just if I see people, you know, if you ever want to get your significant other in a game, World of Warcraft is the game to to really get them into gaming because they will just. You'll sit them there, and they'll be doing something, and five hours later, they'll still be doing the same thing, maybe. But they'll be like, I'm still playing. I got three deer now. I killed three of them. <laughs> Do you agree? Disagree? No? You're like... Yeah. <laughs> well, when I when I did start uh, World of Warcraft, it was because of my ex. Oh, see? See? It, all, it <laughs> always had... Yeah. It was bad memories, though. Let's, you know, it's about the game. That's what uh -huh. counts. <laughs> But uh, to move forward, because I could talk about WoW long all the time, the Warsong Gulch matches that lasted forever because there was no time limit on them and <sighs> how pretty it looked and all that jazz. Um, it's really a good first MMO to really play. Did you play RuneScape or any other kind of MMOs while they were throwing Actually, them out? I did play a little bit of RuneScape. Not a whole lot, but I did try it. Um, didn't get very far. Did you not like it? I I, I would say like a good week I was addicted to it, maybe a little bit longer, but not that much long. like less than a month, more maybe about a week and a half to two weeks. Um, I did like go back to it to see what it was like, and I didn't like the changes, so I just, just yeah, the new changes it's not the are same. weird. Yeah, it's not the same. Very strange. Mm -hmm. But going from World of Warcraft because it's okay. Your ex got you into World of Warcraft. How did you transition into like League of Legends? How did you? Um, it was the same ex. Uh, it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we were together for five years. So when World of Warcraft started, it was like right when we started dating was when he was playing that, and then towards the end of our relationship, like uh, the last year or so, uh, he was playing League of Legends. At first, I was just like, "What is this game? Like, I don't understand what's going on." <laughs> And then, he, and then he was like, oh, you just gotta try it. And I was like, I don't know, I don't really want to try it. <laughs> and then I tried it, and I'm like, oh, this game's actually kind of fun. And now the game's not that fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, that's back. Love-hate relationship.